So today we're going to be uh, showing you the Bolton Tools BT1440. Um, this is wired for um, 220 volt single phase unit. Um, if you have any wiring issues, you can always quickly check by just pushing your jog button. This jog button, if it, if it powers your chuck up, you'll know right away if you're wired uh, correctly. If you're not wired on the right circuitry, this won't move at all. And you'll kind of hear the machine be on, but at the same time, it won't turn, uh, regardless of whether it's in forward, reverse, or neutral. With that being said, there are three limit switches on this machine that need to be engaged before the machine will turn on. One limit switch is here for your chuck cover. Chuck cover needs to be down fully. Um, the second limit switch is inside your gearbox. If this gearbox is cracked or not fully secure by using the top or bottom um, safe uh, fastening screws, then it will not allow you to turn the machine on either. And third of all, there's a limit switch in the foot pedal on the back end, which we'll show later in this video. Um, do not press down on the brake when trying to start this machine because you release this limit switch and it will not turn the machine over. So all the limit switches are satisfactory right now. What we'll do is thirdly, or fourthly, I'm sorry, you need to make sure the machine is in neutral. Uh, fully engaged neutral. If you move this up, it'll be forward. If you move it down, it'll be reverse. But if this is in forward or reverse position before tur turning on the machine, it will not turn on. Um, that is the startup um, process for the Bolton Tools BT 1440. And I will show you the limit switch in the foot brake next. Okay, so here's the back of the BT1440. We're looking, if you're at the front of the machine, looking at it, from this position, this is your left cabinet. Now, there's two different styles of 1440 single phase units. And you can tell by the position of this back uh, foot pedal, the limit switch. When you push that brake down, what it does is it lowers this and in return drops this limit switch out. Right now it's, it's pressed inward um, naturally. Now on other series models of our 1440, um, this limit switch won't be here. Um, this limit switch will be inside of this cabinet right here and it's the same method applies. The limit switch needs to be compressed in order for the machine to turn on. Um, so if you have a 1440, if your limit switch is on the outside or on the inside of this cabinet, this, this switch needs to be fully compressed inward in order for the machine to turn on. Uh, with that said, we'll show you a photo right now of the position of the limit switch on the other um, series of the 1440, which is inside the cabinet. 